I mean, now that you've had a chance to get on the field with Jalen Waddle, how do you think your guys' games kind of complement each other? Uh, I think they complement each other very well. You know, um, just having another speed guy on the other side of you, you know, that definitely puts a lot of fear and a lot of D coordinators, you know, mind. So um, I'm very excited for the year. You know, ex excited to see what um, Tua is going to do, especially. So, I mean, we're all ready for it. Have you heard from the defenders out here about how challenging it can be to, to, to defend you guys and all the speed you guys offer? Uh, yeah, man. Like, it's just all um, locker room chatter. But, like, I mean, for me, you know, I've been in this league a long time, you know. I mean, none of that really means nothing because at the very end of the day, you got to line up and you still got to play ball. So you can be the fastest guy on the field, but it's all about knowing where to be at, you know, especially for the quarterback and for the and just for the quarterback's time. And so that's the thing that's real special about this team. I mean, we have a lot of guys who are who are wanting to be coached, you know, um, who wants to get better. So. Like I said, I'm very excited to be a part of this team. You, you get you get some exercise then on the practice field. It seemed like they were using you downfield a ton. It wasn't That's like what a I veteran, do, man. It wasn't like a veteran's day for you. That's what I do, man. Like I, I mean, when I came here, man, I, I signed up to work. I didn't sign up, you know, just for the paycheck, man. I also signed up, you know, to be a team leader and also, you know, lead this team and show this team how I do things and and how I do things is I work hard, you know, and um I want the guys behind me to follow that, you know, so I mean, I just can't be a guy in our locker room just saying, hey, you guys should be doing this, doing that. You know, I got to be that guy who's willing to come out on the field and work hard and show these young guys how to get the job done and potentially win the Super Bowl. So that's what I'm here for. Mentioned, Tua, what do you think of the way the ball comes from him, Tua, uh, now that you've experienced it for a little bit here? I mean, it's nothing, it's nothing weird. You know, at first I thought it was going to be something crazy, the ball going all over the place. But Tua actually has, you know, probably one of the prettiest balls I've ever caught in my life so um it's, it's very catchable I don't want to continue because the more I talk the more it sounds weird so it, Tua is a is a very accurate quarterback that's all I'm gonna say you've seen like you know we saw the video that you posted kind of in response to um the one video that got a lot of, a lot right. of reaction right right so why is it so important for you to you know Tua kind of declines to comment on a lot of the reaction around him but why is it right. so important for you to speak out and kind of support him I just feel like football is all about confidence you know, and um, I'm very confident in my quarterback, you know, so I just feel like, you know, if I'm able to, like, help him get all the confidence in the world and push other guys to push that confidence into him, then the sky's the limit for the guy, you know, because he's a heck of a talent, you know, has crazy arm, arm strength, arm talent, you know, so like I say, man, we're, we're all excited, you know, just to watch him sling the ball each and every day, you know. What about your confidence? Um, you obviously come across as a very confident player. Right. Was it always that way when you were this tall? Or? Oh, yeah. I've, I've always been like that. Um, as it's something that my grandparents instilled in me. You know, I just feel like without confidence, you really can't do anything, you know, because the mind is going to help you get to where you want to get. You know, I just can't come out here and just feel sorry for myself every day. Just like today, I had a very hard day of just running back and two, back and forth. I could have easily just said, you know what, I give up. You know, I, I, I mean, I already got what I wanted, you know, but yet yeah, still my mindset, my confidence, you know, I just, I just want to get better. I got too much pride in this game. I was telling somebody that the other day. I, I got too much pride in this game. I want to get better. I want to learn from, from um, um, Coach McDaniels. I want to learn from the OC, and I want to learn from um, Coach West, Coach West Welker. So I'm just willing to like elevate my game even more, dog. That's just the way I think. Terry, uh, Tua was in here today, so he played with Teddy. How right. Like been with him on the field. Oh, with Teddy? Oh, it's fun. Um, I, I, I think, I think the world of Teddy also. Teddy is another veteran guy who can come in and just slang the ball like all across the field. So, I mean. It feels good to have two quarterbacks who can, you know, come in and do the same thing. You know, ball on time, ball in the right place, you know, so it feels good. I was Absolutely. just going to ask you about the playlist today. Cause the playlist it was, was, it was terrible. Place, I'm sorry to tell you that, bro. I'm going to see you in the locker room. <laughs> I'm joking, bro. Besides the Clemson, was that the Clemson? That was nice. I, I was turned off that. I was liked that. I liked that, though. He was all over the place. He was all over the place, man. He was. He he was even playing Disney music. Was that Disney music he was playing? I have no idea what was going on today. You know, I felt like I was in my living room with my kids again. I was like, yo, this is getting crazy. So have you had a day with the playlist? Or have you been an orange jersey guy? No, I haven't. I haven't been an orange jersey guy, man. Um, I guess I haven't been working hard enough for Coach. But hopefully I can get it, man. So you know, when, when Melvin Ingram uh, came to you guys in Kansas City, what do you remember he brought uh, to the team? You know, just that veteran leadership, you know, just, just adding like another brother to the locker room, 
You know, um, I just feel like with me and Melvin, you know, me and him grew, cro grew close in the locker room, you know, outside of playing football. You know, whether we're playing basketball, you know, at one of my good buddies' gyms in KC and just, you know, creating, uh, building that bond together, you know. So when he came here, man, I was, I was all for it. I'm, I'm very excited because, like, I really know what Melvin can bring to a team. You know, his mindset, man, like, I, mindset, like, just the way that, um, the way that, the way that um, he approached his work, his craft, and it's just, he's just able to get around guys like Christian, Emmanuel, and it's just going to be crazy, man. That D-line is going to be crazy.